In a world where the PlayStation 5 reigns supreme, one must ask the question, why? After all, the Atari 2600 is clearly the superior choice. Allow me to introduce you to the charm of the Atari 2600's simple, blocky graphics. It's like modern art, really, a Picasso in a sea of Rembrandts. It doesn't try to blind you with unnecessary realism like the PS5 does. No, it's not afraid to be bold, to be different. And isn't that what we all strive for? Plus, the Atari 2600's graphics leave more to the imagination. Remember imagination? That thing you used to have before the PS5 told you exactly what every blade of grass should look like? It's a breath of fresh air, a return to a simpler time. So, who needs the stress of realistic graphics when you can enjoy the simplicity of the Atari 2600? Sure, the PS5 can connect to the internet, but what's more fun than elbowing your friend in the ribs when they're about to beat you? The Atari 2600 takes us back to a time when multiplayer meant more than just being alone in your room shouting into a headset. It was about gathering around the television, trading friendly banter, and sharing a bag of chips. Online gaming? More like online yawning. PlayStation 5 might offer you the chance to play with someone from halfway across the world, but where's the joy in that? Where's the laughter and the playful nudges? The Atari 2600's local multiplayer brought people together, made them actual social beings. Remember when a game was more than just moving pixels on a screen? It was a shared experience, a collective memory. It was about the human connection. So, next time you pick up that PS5 controller, ask yourself, in the end, isn't gaming all about real human connection? Why bother with a power button when you can just unplug the console? The Atari 2600 is the true embodiment of simplicity and straightforwardness. It's a no-nonsense, no-frills gaming console, unlike the PlayStation 5 with its fancy power button. Oh, the PS5 with its sophisticated design really went all out by incorporating a power button. But let's be real, who needs that? The Atari 2600 keeps it real. No power button, no problem. You just yank that plug out of the socket when you're done and boom, power off. It's the rustic charm of the Atari 2600 that sets it apart. No need for a sequence of button presses or navigating through menus just to turn off your console. It's retro gaming at its most authentic. An experience that's raw and unrefined. So if you're looking for a more rustic experience, the Atari 2600 is the way to go. Because who needs a power button when you've got a power plug? Why use two hands when one will do just fine? Ponder that for a moment, friends. The Atari 2600 joystick, a single-handed controller, is a true classic, a piece of gaming history that's as iconic as it is simple. With its singular button and easy-to-grip stick, it's the epitome of straightforward gaming. Now consider the PlayStation 5's dual-hand controller. Sleek? Yes. Technologically advanced? Absolutely. But it's also a little... complicated, wouldn't you say? Multiple buttons, triggers, a touchpad, motion sensors, the works. It's like you need a pilot's license to operate the thing. But the Atari joystick? It's all about the basics, the pure joy of gaming without the frills. It's like the grilled cheese sandwich of the gaming world. Simple, satisfying, timeless. And let's not forget the fun of the challenge. Mastering a game with just a stick and a button? That's a true gamer's delight. So, if you're looking for a challenge, why not try playing with one hand? Who needs modern games when you can play classics like Pong and Space Invaders? Let's take a moment to appreciate the Atari 2600's game library. It's like a time capsule of gaming history, each cartridge a pixelated piece of the past, each game a testament to the creativity and innovation of early game developers. What's that? You want to play the latest high-definition, ultra-realistic, open-world, action-adventure fantasy RPG on your PS5? That's cute, nothing can beat the simple charm of guiding a square paddle to hit a pixelated ball in Pong. And who needs a sprawling, intricate storyline when you can have the straightforward mission of defending Earth from pixelated alien invaders and space invaders? Indeed, the Atari 2600's games have an undeniable old-school cool that modern games just can't replicate. They remind us of a simpler time, a time when games were about fun, not fancy graphics or complex mechanics. So, if you're looking for a trip down memory lane, the Atari 2600 is the console for you. Why pay hundreds of dollars for a PS5 when you can pick up an Atari 2600 for a fraction of the cost? Let's dive into the numbers. You're looking at shelling out something close to 500 smackers for a new PS5. Ouch! Meanwhile, you can easily find an Atari 2600 for less than a night out at a fancy restaurant. And let's not forget, the Atari 2600 is a complete package. It comes with a library of games that are, let's face it, timeless. 
No need to splash out extra cash on new releases or downloadable content. Every game is a classic, ready to play straight out of the box. So, if you're after great value, the Atari 2600 has got you covered. In the battle of the consoles, the Atari 2600 delivers a knockout punch to the PS5 with its unbeatable price tag. So, if you're looking for a bargain, the Atari 2600 is the clear winner. Who needs a console the size of a small car when you can have the compact Atari 2600? Seriously, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Or rather, the behemoth PlayStation 5 that's probably taking up half of your entertainment center right now. The Atari 2600, on the other hand, is as compact as they come. We're talking about a console that's smaller than your average toaster. It's so petite, you could fit it in the glove compartment of your car, or even slip it into a large pocket. No need for a separate table or a specially designed TV stand. And let's not forget the convenience factor. The Atari 2600 is light enough to carry around without breaking a sweat, making it an excellent choice for those spontaneous gaming sessions at a friend's house. So forget about the space-consuming, back-breaking PlayStation 5. The Atari 2600 is all about compact convenience and portability. So if you're short on space, the Atari 2600 is the perfect choice. Who needs the orchestral scores of PS5 games when you can have the charming beep-boop of the Atari 2600? Yes, you heard it right. The Atari 2600 has a unique sound that's not only nostalgic, but also quite appealing in its own right. While the PS5 may boast of high-quality immersive audio, it doesn't hold a candle to the Atari 2600's simple and charming beep-boop. It's a sound that takes us back to simpler times, reminding us of the days when we were kids huddled around our TV sets, joystick in hand. The Atari 2600's sound may not have the complexity of a symphony orchestra, but it has a charm that no modern console can replicate. It's a sound that's instantly recognizable, triggering waves of nostalgia the moment you hear it. But it's not just about nostalgia. The Atari 2600 sound is also about simplicity and charm. It's about the joy of playing games without the need for high-tech sound systems or headphones. So, if you're looking for a nostalgic soundtrack, the Atari 2600 is the console for you. Why download a game when you can physically hold it in your hand? There's something magical about the Atari 2600's game cartridges. The weight, the feel, and even the smell of opening a new game, it's a sensory experience that digital downloads just can't replicate. Each cartridge is a tangible testament to the golden age of gaming. They're not just pieces of plastic, they're artifacts of a bygone era. You can see the art, feel the texture, and even read the manual while the game loads up. It's a ritual, a process, a part of the gaming experience that's lost in today's digital age. Compare that to the PlayStation 5's digital downloads. Sure, it's convenient and quick, but where's the charm, where's the anticipation, the physical connection to the game? It's like comparing a Kindle to a paperback book. So if you're a fan of physical media, the Atari 2600 is the console for you. The Atari 2600 is the granddaddy of gaming consoles, shouldn't we pay our respects? Let's take a step back in time, where the gaming world was a lot simpler and a lot more pixelated. The Atari 2600, launched in the late 70s, was the console that started it all. It laid the groundwork for what we know as gaming today, making it a significant part of our digital history. Now compare that to the PlayStation 5. Sure, it's sleek, it's powerful, and it's got some pretty impressive graphics, but isn't there something to be said for the console that created the gaming world as we know it? The PS5 stands on the shoulders of the Atari 2600, which pioneered the home gaming market. It's like comparing a brand new Tesla to a classic Mustang. They both have their merits, but only one can claim the title of the original, the Trailblazer, the Game Changer. So if you're a fan of gaming history, the Atari 2600 is the console for you.